Hey everybody, it's 3 News Now, weather alert meteorologist Audra Moore, and today I wanted to show you something, uh, how to make something that we take on a lot of our school visits that is always a big hit with the kids, and today we're going to make a tornado in a bottle. Now technically we'll be using two bottles, but we've got a couple of different options. Most of these things are stuff that we all have laying around at home. Not everything is though, so we have to get a little bit creative for a couple of different solutions. So to start off, the two main things you're going to need, um, two pop bottles. One, leave empty. The other one, we're going to go ahead and fill up with water. Now you're not going to want it all the way to the top full. Still need to leave a little bit of space, so about three quarters full or maybe a little bit more than that. We added some red food coloring to this one just to make it more fun. You can add any kind of food coloring you want, no food coloring, um, add in some glitter, or if you want, add in a couple of Monopoly houses or hotels, just so then we've got some debris once we get our tornado going. You can add in pretty much anything you want, but keep in mind, uh, if you add in some of those bigger things like a Monopoly house or hotel, they're not going to fit in between the connector between the two bottles. So you'll need to put some in the one that's already got water in it, and you'll need to put some in the empty one too. Um, so then you've got some on both sides. Another thing, you know how most of those plastic pop bottles have those uh, plastic rings at the top? You'll want to cut those off too, because once we connect them, uh, we're going to want that connection as secure as possible, as tight as possible. Otherwise, we're going to end up with a lot of water everywhere. So I've already done that. I already have this one mostly full. This one, of course, stays empty for now. The other thing you're going to need with this method is what we'll call the tornado tube connector. Now, this one may not be something that you've got hanging around the house. If you do, great. If not, um, most hardware stores will carry these. Of course, you want to stay home as much as possible during this time. So if you order one online, you can usually find them pretty much anywhere for a couple of bucks. Don't need anything fancy by any means. So this is your best option. If you don't have one of these or don't want to go spend the money for it, or of course we're trying to stay inside as much as possible, so you don't want to go out to the store just to buy one of these. Um, another option is to find a washer and you'll put that right on the top of the pop bottle where the lid would go in between the two. You'll set the one on top there and then use some duct tape to tightly get them together as tight as possible, as secure as possible. Of course, with that option, there's a little bit of wiggle room. So if you go that route, this may be something then to play with over the sink or over the bathtub. So if you're going to use the connector piece, which will last the longest and be the most secure, you'll take that, screw it onto the top of the one that's already got water in it, because then the next piece is going to be the empty one. And you take that, turn it upside down, and then screw it into the top of the connector piece. Of course, we do it this way so we don't dump out more water. And that is all you're going to need for this option. Now, then we'll turn it over. You've got your tornado in the bottle. Give it some spin, a little bit of rotation as a real tornado would. And as the water goes from the top one into the bottom one, you'll start to see a tornado. Of course, as some of that water uh, goes out into the bottom uh, pop bottle, then you can even make the tornado a little bit bigger by adding some more spin to it. So this is just one option at home. Um, it's going to be probably the most uh, water-free way, um, so you don't end up with a bunch of water on your table or in your sink. Um, that's why it may be better to do this over the sink or the bathtub if you have to go with a different option. So that is just one way you can make the tornado in a bottle. Of course, once all the water is out of this side, you flip it over and you can just keep going. Now, if you don't have those things at home or maybe you're looking for a slightly smaller version, you can do something similar with just one pop bottle. Again, you're gonna wanna fill it up mostly full, but not all the way, still about three quarters, a little bit more than that, um, with some more water if you want. We can add some food coloring to it or any of those other specialty items um, to make it a little bit more interesting. But basically, you're just going to put the cap back on it after it's filled up mostly and make sure it's tight because then we flip it upside down. We give it a little bit of spin, a little bit of rotation, and 
you start to see the tornado inside of the bottle. Now it's a little bit tricky to see this, so if you want, uh, we can do a couple of different things. Of course, we can always add in a little bit of food coloring to make this turn blue in this case. Just need a couple of drops of food coloring in there. And we'll shake it up a little bit to give it that color. And again, you can do any color you want, anything you've got around at home. Maybe red like we have in the other one or green. And then to make the tornado a little bit more visible, you can add just in a couple of drops of any kind of dish soap. Now not too much though, otherwise you'll have more soap suds than anything else uh, in your tornado in a bottle. So once we've done that, again you can add in a little bit of glitter if you want. Make sure that's on tight, otherwise you'll end up with a mess. And then we turn it back upside down, give it some rotation again. And because of the soap suds, you can see a little bit more of uh, that tornado in there. It's hard to see here on the camera, but easier to see in person. So that is one other option that you've got um, to make a tornado in a bottle on a slightly smaller scale. Now, if you don't have that at home either, what you may have is just a regular old jar. You can take this, again, fill it up, mostly full, not all the way full. Add in some food coloring if you want, add in some glitter, and then make sure again the lid is on very tight because we'll flip it upside down once again and we'll give it some more rotation. And there you can see. It's not quite as impressive, of course, as the two different bottles, but we've got another tornado in a bottle option for you to do at home. So those are just three options. Um, of course, you can always check the internet for a few more ideas on some of the specialty items to put inside. Um, go ahead, try this at home, take some pictures, take some videos, tag me on social media, Facebook or Twitter. Uh, let me know how it works for you. Love to see what the kiddos think of it. And uh, if you have any other weather questions or any other weather experiments that you might wanna see me do with things that hopefully we've all got hanging around at home, let me know. Again, you can find me on social media, one of the best ways to get a hold of me there. Try it out. Let me know how it goes.